RCA Commercial's Hospitality LV series features the ability to remap the channels to match a pre-printed channel guide. You can also do this simply to remove the digital suffix like dash one or dash two. To perform the remap, you will need the R230D2 master remote, a list of your cable channels as your provider delivers them, as well as your desired final channel guide. Another item that we recommend is a clean flash drive for cloning your final product. We'll go into this later in the video. To begin, press menu on your master remote. The first thing we are going to do is prevent your menus from timing out as you are performing your remap. Right arrow over the time menu designated by the box with the clock and arrow down and press OK on OSD active time. We are going to turn this off for now, but we will need to come back later and turn it back on. Turn it off by highlighting off and press OK. Next we are going to left arrow to the far left channel menu. Before we can proceed on remapping the channels, a channel scan needs to be performed. First press OK on the antenna setting to get it to scan for the right channels. In most cases, cable is the desired setting, but if you have an antenna getting your local channels, air plus cable is required. Afterwards, arrow down and press OK on auto scan to begin your channel scan. After your channel scan is complete, you will need to decide which type of channel mapping is for you. Arrow down to remap channel. By default, it's going to be set to channel number so that the TV organizes the channels by the channel numbers provided by the cable company. Auto index reassigns all channels a new channel number in sequential order starting with one and goes on through the rest. Manual index gives you the freedom of renumbering your channels as you want them. After you've chosen your mapping choice, if you have chosen manual index, then arrow up once and press OK on Program Edit. This is where you'll be working to assign your channels your new channel numbers. This menu is sectioned off into three columns. The far left column is going to be the number that will be your new channel number, and for ease of learning, we're going to call it your index number. The next column to the right is your cable channel number as they provide it to you. The far right column will be your channel label. This may be blank for you now, but this is where you can type out your network's name for each channel. To change the index number, highlight the channel and press 4 on your master remote. This will blank out the selection. Type in your new channel number and press OK to lock it in. This will reorganize and move this channel to fall in line with the numbers on the left. If there's a channel that you don't want in your final lineup, you can press 3 to skip it. Skipping a channel prevents your guests from surfing to a channel, but they could still direct tune to it if they know that index number. We suggest changing the index to a four digit number that will be difficult to guess. If you would like to add channel labels or name your channels, then you would press two while highlighted. Use the up and down arrows to scroll through the letters and numbers and right arrow to go to the next character with an eight character max and press OK when done. Use your cable company's channel list and pre-printed guide to finalize your channel map. We need to now go back and turn the OSD active time back on as it controls other things. The default here is 20 seconds. The last thing we suggest is to make a clone or save the settings to a USB. Arrow over to the option menu and press OK on commercial interface menu. Go down to clone management and press OK. Then press OK again on clone out with your USB drive inserted into the TV. When it says OK, then it's successfully saved. 
You can then take that USB to other LV models, go to the same place, and clone in. After a quick reset, your channel map will be on this TV as well. If you have any further questions about this or any other questions, feel free to call us at 1-800-722-2161 and option one for support.